This is Quarter Notes with the DCC. Hi, I'm Eric Taylor, Artistic Director. This lesson is going to talk about changing voices and different warm-ups that you can use during your voice change. So this is going to be targeted more for our upper middle school and high school students, but there's always something for everybody in this video. When I was 15, I was a freshman in high school, and I sang in the freshman choir, and we had a holiday concert, and I still had a very high voice in in my lifetime, singing all the high notes, singing in the soprano section, and then in the middle of the concert, I went from soprano to baritone, from Ricky to Eric. <laughs> Let me tell you, at that moment in time, I thought I would never sing again. I was so humiliated by what had happened, and it's okay. It's okay to feel like what is going on, we don't understand, it's all good. But always remember this, if you leave with anything in this video, remember that your voice is always there. It doesn't go away. It may be growing, it may be extending your range and developing a new tessitura or new money notes or the notes that you would typically sing, but your voice is always there. Here's a shorthand that's borrowed from a great book that I would recommend to our teachers uh, Oren Brown's Discover Your Voice. Take your age, divide it by two. If you're a female, you get to add one, and if you're a male, you get to minus one. That's what I like to call your vocal age. That's how old your voice is right now. So let's say you're 14 years old, you're a 14 year old male. Take your age, 14, divide it by two, which is seven, and if you're a male, you get to minus one. Your voice theoretically speaking, is about six years old. Think about all the things you did when you were six years old and how much you grew in that amount of time. Imagine now what your voice will be able to do when you're 16 or 18 or 26 or even 30. In fact, it's one of the last body parts in the human body that grows throughout your entire lifetime. And the most important thing that you can do for your voice, no matter what age you are, keep singing. So. Before I get into the lesson, I want all of our middle school and high school students, it's going to be silly, but I want you to do it. You're going to raise your right hand. This is, I know it's a left hand on this side, but raise your right hand, and you're just going to say, I, your name, I will always keep singing no matter what. Awesome. Great. Let's develop your voice even more. What I always like to tell all of our middle school and high school students in the Detroit Children's Choir, explore all aspects of your range from your cool down notes, the lower notes, to the going up higher notes. And let's explore that even more. Uh, a little bit of a cool down, going all the way down into the bottom part of our range. I always like to start somewhere, if you're on a piano, I'm on D flat, but anywhere around this area is totally fine. it a try. So we are now at about A. I want you to get up into the higher part. This is actually for all of our piano folks, C5. We're going to focus on our head voice. Do a siren with me. Awesome. We're going to explore that part of our range. That never goes away. voice going all the way throughout. There will be a part of your voice where it will go down to your chest voice. See how far you can go. Start counting from here. This is the first one. And then eventually there will be a point chest part of your voice, the, in the chest voice. So always explore your head voice and your chest voice, even during a vocal change. 
Maybe you're somebody that's struggling now, you're in the middle of your voice change, and maybe the head voice is not as easy. Here's a warm up just for you. We're gonna do me, me, ma, mo, mu. Try that, ready, go. Me, me, ma, mo, mu. If you're on a piano, and it's okay if you're not, we're gonna start, this is an A flat, uh, a third below middle C. And it's just gonna go like this. Me, me, ma, mo, mu. We're just doing one, two, three, two, one. Or do, re, mi, re, do, if you're a fan of hand signs. Me, me, ma, mo, mu. Me, me, ma, mo, mu. Feel the core of your body right by where your diaphragm is, where your lungs are. I want you to feel that push. Me, me, ma, mo, mu. into the higher parts of range. I thought you couldn't be able to do that. Wait a minute, time out for a moment. <laughs> I'm just teasing, just teasing. But remember, your voice is always there. You just gotta, like an like a athlete in the middle of training, sometimes you gotta go from sit-ups to push-ups or do any, anything else to get yourself ready for a big concert or a big event. Just remember, don't stop singing. That's the worst thing you can do. Be like Dory the Fish. Just keep singing. This has been Quarter Notes with Eric Taylor in the Detroit Children's Choir. Have a great day.